Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Python interview questions. That is, what is the use of self keyword in Python? Let me answer. Self keyword is like a variable which refers to the current instance, that is current object of a class using which we can access the class related attributes, that is variables and methods. Let me practically demonstrate this for you, okay? So here I'm going to create a class and I'm going to give some name like car as a class name, colon. The class has been created now. Under the class, I'm going to create some variables and methods that is functions, okay? So here I'll say a is equal to nine and I'm going to create a function using def keyword, def, I'll say sample underscore one function, okay? You see automatically, this item ID is adding this self keyword as a first parameter of this function. Okay. So the first parameter of any function inside the class should have this uh, first parameter as a self keyword base. Okay. As a self keyword. So what is a self keyword? Okay. So self is a current instance. Okay. Self is like a variable which refers to the current instance that is current object of this class using which we can access all its variables and functions. Okay. So here I'll simply write on print inside sample one method or function, whatever you say, okay? And create one more function here saying def sample underscore two. So here, if I want to access in this particular function of this particular class, okay? In this particular method of this class, if I want to access these variables and methods of this class, then can I access directly like this print a? You see, error is coming. To access the variables and methods of this particular class, I cannot directly access, okay? So in a class, in Python especially, in a class, if you want to access these variables and methods, okay, we have to use a variable which refers to the current instance of this class. That is nothing but the self case, okay? So here I have to say self dot a, okay? Using the self keyword, we can access the variables and functions or methods of this class, okay? So self is a, in simple words, self is a like a variable which refers to the current instance that is current object of a class using which we can access its variables and methods which are inside the class, okay? Inside the class, if you want to access the variables and methods of this class, then we have to use self keyword and it is nothing but the current instance, okay? It's like a variable which refers to the current instance that is object of the class. So here, if I want to, from this function, I want to call this function, let's say, so I cannot directly call like this sample underscore one. I cannot directly call this guys. Okay. If I do so, I'll get an error. So what I have to do, I have to say self dot sample one, then the error will be gone. Okay. To access the members of this class inside the class, then we have to use a self keyword because it is a variable which refers to the current instance that is current object of this class. So if you get this question in the interview, it's kind of tricky. I know. So this is the best way to explain this, okay? If anyone asks you like, what is the use of self keyword in Python? You have to simply explain this line, okay? So this is the practical demonstration for this particular statement, guys, okay? Where self keyword is like a variable, which refers to the current instance that is current object of a class in order to, okay? We can use this uh, self keyword to access its attribute, I mean, its attributes that is variables and methods of a class inside the class, okay? Fine, if you want to access these variables and uh, methods or functions of this class inside the class, there is no other way guys, we have to use a self keyword and it is a nothing but a variable which refers to the current instance that is object of the class. I'm repeating multiple times because it's very important to for you to understand guys, okay? That is the reason I'm repeating because it's kind of very tricky question, okay? So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another Python interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.